afternoon. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Julie White. I am the president of Pierce College Fort Silicon, and I am so excited by this amazing turnout and uh, to introduce you to this amazing building. So it's my honor to welcome you to the official grand opening and ribbon cutting for Pierce College's newest building, Glacier. Before we enter the building, we have a brief program followed by ribbon cutting and tours. To get us started, Chancellor Michelle Johnson will share some introductions and thank yous along with the history of the work that has brought these academic programs in this building to fruition. Please welcome Chancellor Johnson. Thank you, Julie. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. The sun came out. Not tomorrow, today, that's fantastic. It's so great to see all of you on campus. You know, we've been gone for a long time. And to celebrate this building, it has been a long time coming. I'm gonna share a little bit. But before I talk about the building, I do wanna introduce some individuals that are special to us and have been great supporters of Pierce College. I wanna start with our board of trustees, our board chair, Brett Willis, our vice chair, Steve Smith, and I believe we still have trustee Lisa Boyd, two of our other trustees. Oh, and we do have, good, Therese Pasquire. Um, in addition to that, I want to introduce the interim president of Pierce College, uh, Puella, Dr. Matthew Campbell. Thank you. Now, I know that we were hoping to have Senator Nobles from the 28th, but she sends her regrets, as does Mari Kruger, who's out of town. Both of them have been great supporters of Pierce College. But we do have with us today our representative from the 25th, Cindy Jacobson, and she's also a faculty adjunct math at Puyallup campus. Thank you so much, Cindy, for being here. The city of Lakewood, of course, is where we live. And so our city officials, we have Deputy Mayor Mary Moss and our, and our city manager, John Caulfield, and I know we have some other city officials, if you would just raise and, and recognize. Um, we're part of the 34 Community and Technical College system, and we have our new executive director, Mr. Paul Francis. So Paul, I know you're here too. Yay. And I'm gonna introduce some other individuals, but I'm gonna do it as I move through the program. So this is Pierce College's 55th year of operation and we are celebrating a legacy of excellence. And so this campus, actually, the first buildings came on here as portables in 1968, and we became, even though we were, fund, we were started in 67, we found this site, 144 beautiful acres, and we became Fort Silicon Community College that year. Um, our construction actually started with the building behind you. It didn't look like that. Um, it's gone through many renovations. I'm going to talk about how that ties into this project. And that started in 1972, and during the period of time, we had about 12 portables out in the parking lot. And um, they were here for over 40 years. It took a long time to get this campus built. I thought Tim Lawson, Dr. Lawson, was going to join us. If you are Tim, I've looked for you. I don't see you. But he was one of our directors of our veterinary technology program. You're going to hear about two really great programs that are occupying this building. The dental hygiene program is the other one. And they actually requested their accreditation in 1973, and they started in the portables as well. Um, I know the founding um, director of dental hygiene is here, Dr. Sharon Golightly. Sharon, there you are. Fantastic. And they were in the portables until um, 1987, when we remodeled the first floor, actually created the first floor that was open in the Cascade building behind you. Um, that building is an interesting building that we're gonna talk about. You know, our community and technical college system, all the 34 colleges have a very um, robust, I'll call it a very robust selection process that scores all of our projects. And we are proud of that, and the legislature is as well. And they have acknowledged us and, and lauded us for all of this incredible work that we do because we spend a lot of time prioritizing 
with a very clear point structure about how we're going to build buildings. We first applied to, re, to remodel Cascade behind you, the first building. It's a 250,000 square foot building. It's very odd for our system to have that large of a building. So it's never going to go away. But we've had to remodel it in sections, around 70,000 square feet at a time. So this particular project is called Phase 3 of Cascade. And we put in our request in 2012. Today is 2022. Do the math. We, um, we had to put in our request. And finally, in 18, we got a pre-design. And then in 2019, we got the design. And 2020, in October, we started construction. So here we are today, 10 years later. Um, this project also is going to involve a remodeling because it was supposed to be a remodel because vet tech and dental hygiene occupy the first floor of Olympic, excuse me, of Cascade, but not anymore. They're in here. Um, we're also going to remodel and have our emergency medical services programs will get some new space as we finish the next part of this project. Excuse me, I have a cold today. Um, it's been four years since I've been sick. So you'll have to excuse me. We obviously bid in the state system, and we were really fortunate to have McGranahan Architects um, get the design of this building. They have, they have supported Pierce College for many years, and their fingerprints are all over this campus. And with us today is Andy Hartung, who is the um, design project manager. But there's a lot of other McGranahan people here. Would you please raise your hands as well? They have been just a fantastic team to work with. And our contractors are here as well, and that's Andy Johnson Construction. And they have had to work through COVID and supply chain issues and all the other pieces to build this beautiful building. And with this is Craig Lester, who is the vice president and project manager. But they too have some other people with Andy Johnson Construction. Would you raise your hands? And first there's Craig. Thank you. All of our work goes um, with the Department of Enterprise Services. That's who actually runs our contracts in the state system. And we've been really fortunate to have Chris Gizzi, who's here, and he's been with this area for a long time. And he started at the beginning of this, this project. And now with us is Tony um, Afife, who is now our new project manager. Thank you, Tony, for joining us. And then we've got our own team at the college, Charlene Wilson, who has been our project manager. Thank you, Charlene. And then Gus Lim, who is the director of our facilities and operations. And he and the grounds people and maintenance, they got all this ready for you today. So let's please give them a round of applause. They always are the unsung heroes putting everything together. And then the committee, and I'm Ju Julie's going to talk about some other things, I'm sure. So I want to just share a couple of big picture pieces of the building. So it's just under 37,000 square feet. The total budget for this part of the project is $27 million. But the larger part, to do the first floor as well, um, is $38 million. And that's $35 million from the state. Thank you, legislature. But it's also $3 million from local funds here at Pierce College. And I really want to thank our board of trustees for that because they know the importance of this investment. And we're also really lucky at Pierce College is that we put fiscal um, management um, at the top of our list. And as a result of that, we've been able to put in an additional three million so that we can maintain the scope of this project because you're really making 50 plus year investments. And so it's important to do it right. Also part of all capital projects is that one half of 1% of the project is set aside for public art. And in this case, you also bid for the artist, and it's led by the Washington Arts Commission. And we have a selection committee from the college that helps with that. And so when you get inside, you're going to see a beautiful art um, hanging in the atrium. Our artist is Guy Kemper, and the glass sculpture is called Fly Away. And it is, consists of some bird-like shapes that you'll see. And it's been inspired by what's called the varied thrush which is a bird that's native to this area. So I want to thank our faculty and staff that are here. Would you raise your hands? 
and you put in so many hours in designing and getting this all ready. And um, they're here today. We're going to meet some on the tour. So I want to I want to thank you. I want to thank you so much for being here. Pierce College is a great place in this community, and we do amazing things. And so I'm going to turn it back to Dr. Julie White. And Julie's going to share with you some exciting elements of this building and the fabulous programming that's, that's going on inside. So, Julie, it's all yours. Thank you. Make sure you don't take my notes. I won't take there your notes. <laughs> Someone did that to me the other day. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. So, the mission of Pierce College is to provide quality educational opportunities for a diverse group community of learners to thrive in an evolving world. And you've just heard how the dental hygiene and veterinary technology faculty and staff have been contributing to Pierce's mission for a very long time. I'd like to introduce the program directors, Dr. Salvador Hurtado, Director of Veterinary Technology. Thank you. And Ms. Monica Hospital, Director of Dental Hygiene. And again, thank you to Monica and Salvador and all of the faculty and staff. Uh, this has been an incredible effort to, uh, to get moved, to get ready, to get ready for you, to get ready for our students. Um, and we're just so happy that you're here. Before I talk more about these specific programs, I want to speak to the design concept of the Glacier Building. The intention is to connect the interior with the natural environment outside. So the architectural features highlight and reflect the surroundings of this beautiful location. You'll notice a feeling of openness and light and the organic patterns on the exterior, you see those dots, uh, the perforations um, on the exterior panels, reflect the Gary Oak tree and reference our Gary Oak Restoration Project, a joint effort of Pierce College and the city of Lakewood to reinvigorate this tree that is indigenous to this area. Inside the building, the Gary Oak and its under canopy ecology inspired the colors and materials. And accent colors represent the program space and act as wayfinding for each program. You'll also find many formal and informal gathering, study, and meeting spaces to maximize interaction and support for students, faculty, staff, and for the care of their patients. There's a courtyard with natural light, and that's where the art project is. And again, it's uh, the artist chose the bird figures to also continue that theme of reflecting the natural environment. You'll also see that we've opened two sets of bifold doors, um, which allows flow between the courtyard and the outdoor. So literally, again, bringing the interior and the exterior environments together. Now. Uh, we are going to do tours and we're almost there, but I want to tell you a little bit about what you're going to see. The first floor houses the Veterinary Technology Program, which awards an associate degree in veterinary technology. This nearly 21,000 square feet space includes 20 dog kennels with access to both indoors and outdoors, a cattery, and some of the cats just arrived today and they're adorable. Um, <laughs> an exotic animals room, an isolation ward, two large teaching labs, a pharmacy, radiology and x-ray rooms, an operating ward, locker room, a courtyard patio, student and staff lounges, four offices, a conference room, and two study rooms. Our veterinary technology program has been approved by the Washington State Veterinary Medical Association and is also accredited by the American Veterinary Medical Association. And it prepares students to become licensed veterinary technicians in Washington State, a field for which there is growing demand. The second floor houses the dental hygiene program, another high demand field, which awards a Bachelor of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene. This was Pierce College's first Bachelor of Applied Science, and we now have six bachelor's degrees, and they graduated their first class in 2017. This 16,000 square feet space includes a large dental lab with 22 dental chairs, a simulation lab, sterilization lab, five x-ray rooms, a panoramic x-ray room, radiography support room, locker room, two study rooms, two conferences, and eight offices. So we, we packed a lot into this building. Our dental hygiene program is accredited by the American Dental Association's Commission on Dental Accreditation and prepares students for dental hygiene licensure in Washington State. 
I also want to mention this this project also rebuilt our adjacent parking lot with 49 new surface parking stalls and adding 10 ADA parking stalls which was a critical need for our campus as Michelle noted this same project will also renovate the first floor of Cascade right behind you for the emergency medical services program and we look forward to welcoming you back in 9 to 12 months to celebrate the opening of what's going to be another amazing space and a little bit busy um, I'd also like to thank the members of the President's Advisory Group from the campus that served on our Building Naming Committee, which reviewed our existing naming policies and engaged with stakeholders, including representatives of local tribes, to inform the naming of the building. The committee felt it was important that the name convey intentions of healing and cleansing and align with other buildings on campus. Thus, the name Glacier was recommended and adopted. And now, we are going to officially cut the ribbon to celebrate this amazing building. Um, we will have uh, an initial group come up and then I will invite others who would like to come up. I'm going to uh, preview though, but uh, you, you're going to be excited to go in for the tours, I know. Um, no food and drink on the tours, please, uh, but we'll have the ribbon cutting first. We'll have some opportunities for other folks who'd like to get their pictures taken with the ribbon cutting and then we'll open the building and let you on in. All right. So with that, I would like to call up um, Mich Chancellor Michelle Johnson, uh, Trustee Brett Willis, uh, Program Director Monica Hospital, Program Director Salvador Hurtado, uh, Dean Ron May, and Paul Francis, uh, Executive Director of State Board. So I have the big scissors. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And nice. you all have scissors. We so. do? Brett, 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 you scissors. <laughs> All right. Need a haircut. All right. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, there you go. Are we cutting? All right. One, two, three. Yeah.